If I ever told you I was gonna make this video, I would be calling myself a liar. I thought this day would never come. Hey guys, it's Alex here. Welcome back to Alex's Sports News. Hope you guys are having a good day. And yes, based on this title, this is why I'm very shocked about this video. Is it finally collapsing? Is the Patriots dynasty finally coming to an end? Well, thanks to a report off of ESPN's article, it's talking about how this year has been the year where a lot of shit has gone down. A lot of pe people in the front office, Bill Check, Kraft, and Brady have had some issues. And these issues we will address with. Starting off with the first one is with Patriots fitness trainer Alex Guerrero. If you haven't known, Alex Guerrero has been with Tom Brady's whole career. They made a book together. He's part of that extreme diet he does. They've done a lot together. They worked a lot. And he's been a part of front office, he works, he goes, he has all access to the Patriot shit, he works with other athletes for part, part of the Patriots, but this year they stopped letting him come in, Tom Brady wasn't happy about it, but it was that he was not as good, he was not someone they should have in the office, he's like kind of a dick to the other players, like he, for example, Jim Garoppolo was trying to go to his fitness center, be healthy last year when he had a soldier injury, there was no one there, they had took some Patriots top office people to get him in. Which was weird, but it's just like the relationship with Guerrero and the rest of the Patriots wasn't great. And that made Brady a little bit mad or pissed about how he's not allowed to go back to the Patriots. Things he wasn't allowed to go back to the practices and all that. They cut each other off. And that was just one of the big things that happened. And the other thing that really started this whole issue was about Jimmy Garoppolo. If you've known Jimmy Garoppolo has done amazing in San Francisco. He got traded this year to the 49ers for exchange of a second round pick. They didn't go for the first round pick from Cleveland for a second round pick, and after that, he went 5-0 with the 49ers. That only won one game the entire season. Had over 1,500 passing yards and were absolutely insane. He was supposed to be the successor to Tom Brady. However, Tom Brady wasn't the, the person that you would ever think would be like a Brett Favre, Tan Rogers. He wasn't passing down the throne. He was actually scared of Jimmy Garoppolo based on the report. He didn't want to help him out. He was scared that he was going to take his position because Tom Brady, at the age of 40, thought he can play a, a lot more years, many more years. That's why Robert Kraft was trying to give him a long extension while Bill Belichick was like, what the fuck? No way. He's 40 years old. 41 is unheard of. Having a season, even though he's having an MVP season now, do we get a year from next season or a season after that? You're like, how the fuck is that possible at the age of 42 by then? And you're like, sign Jimmy Garoppolo. He'll be the perfect replacement, as you can tell, and everything will be okay. But Tom Brady didn't want that, neither Robert Kraft. They said he's too. they didn't want him because they were too scared he was going to replace Tom Brady. Tom Brady was scared of his spot, starting his position. That's why they traded him with the 49ers. That's why they signed Brian Horio, because he's not scared of him. That's why they also traded Jacoby Brissett. And then they're like... Tom Brady has two injuries this year. Why would you trade your two now starting quarterback backups to other teams for jack shit? And that's because they're losing power. There's an issue going on. Because Robert Kraft forced Bill Belichick in the middle of the season to trade Jimmy Garoppolo. That's why he went to the 49ers. He didn't want to trade him, but Brady and Kraft did. And that's why they've had a whole issue. That's why there's been a whole mess. And that's why it led to this report released on Twitter by the Patriots Saying this, this is a joint statement by Bill Belichick, Tom Brady, and Robert Kraft. For the past 18 years, the three of us have enjoyed a very good and productive working relationship. In recent days, there has been multiple media reports that have speculated theories that are unsustained, highly exaggerated, or flat out inaccurate. The three of us share a common goal. We look forward to the enormous challenge of competing in the postseason and the opportunity to work together in the future, just as we have for the past 18 years. It is unfortunate that there is a need for us to respond to these false, falsies, or whatever the fuck that word is. As our actions have shown, we stand united. And that was the whole quote. And that's where we lead to one thing I just don't really believe that comment. Because just it's just a comment you make that's the right comment to put out. However, as there's multiple media reports, it just seems like this is a, an issue happening. And what do you guys think about this? Do you think it was actually a downfall of the Patriots? you think they're actually going to, not collapse, but you think this is going to be the end? Bill Belichick's 65, Tom Brady's 40, Robert Kraft 78. They're all going to have to step down eventually. I think they're going to step, and that's going to happen very soon. So I want you guys to think, 
these are the two main points I just want to get into. There's two other points of the last man standing issue they talked about in the article. And who and Bill Belichuk's playing system will a lot about that. But that's gonna be for this video. Hope you guys like and subscribe. As a Patriots fan, do you guys believe these re reports or do you think nah who cares? They're gonna win a sixth ring this year. And that's gonna fix everything, even though the fifth ring didn't really fix everything. That's gonna be for this video. Hope you guys like and subscribe. Thank you guys for watching and peace.